Welcome to PC Wizkit's Tech Talk. Today we're looking at something new from Sapphire, the Pure Black X58 motherboard. Sapphire has been creating motherboards and um, recently the Pure Black series, both the X58 and the, they also have a P67 model, has come out. And uh, we're going to be looking at this one starting with an unboxing, then we'll go through actually getting this up and running on a system and doing some further tests. But this comes packed with features for your Intel Core i7 CPU. Okay, it's using the LGA1366 socket on it. And uh, going through the specifications, this has lots of potential for overclocking, I'm telling you. So 24 gigs of uh, memory right off the bat, that's tons. You've got expansion slots for crossfire connection. You can install three um, video cards in there, for example. HD audio, tons of USB ports, both 2.0 and 3.0. And of course, you've got support for overclocking. Okay, so not just all these ports and headers and things like that, but you also want to be able to get the, to those enthusiast type of uh, features that you find on Asus or on an MSI motherboard. So not bad at all for Sapphire for putting that there. In the box, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You get the IO Shield plate, good quality one. You get the uh, motherboard, which comes in tons of languages there, good set to go, and the drivers, of course, with the utility. And an IDE connector, yes, you heard right, IDE, still supported, and six SATA, six gigabyte um, per second supported uh, cables. Okay, so you, you got tons of uh, SATA cables there to connect all kinds of drives. Now, looking at the board more in detail, when you look at it, when you first look at it, you know that this is a high quality board. Okay, it's not some cheap looking board. Look at the size of those heat sinks there on the chipsets. Those are huge, okay? You got potential for overclocking big time. All right, and that's what you want. You don't want a cheap board that doesn't have a lot of heat sink and, uh, and quality capacitors construction, as you can see under the voltage uh, regulator there. And um, this is going to be pretty interesting to put to the test, the X58. I've used the X58 motherboards before. This isn't new, but this one has crossfire support. You can add three cards in there, no problem. And um, also a PCI um, slot there for legacy. And one PCI Express that's running at uh, PCI version 1.0. Now, underneath those uh, six slots that you can see there, You've got them color coordinated. You can install up to 24 gigs, like I mentioned earlier, of uh, memory. You've got the IDE connector, the SATA 6 gigabytes per second, and the SATA 2.0 as well. So 3.0 and 2.0, they're side by side. Won't interfere with your uh, video card. And on the side here where you've got your headers for the, for the case, you've got the USB 3.0 plug. You've got a SATA plug again there, 6 GS per second there. And also, you got fan headers. Your Firewire, you've got the bias selector switch there in case you uh, are doing some overclocking and you need to reset things quickly back to defaults. Awesome. You've got the power button, reset button, clear CMOS button, everything all together in a row there. So we've seen stuff like this similar in other brands like MSI. So this is very, very good that they're adding this on this board as well, Sapphire. So good for them. Also, looking down the road here, you've got the speaker and an LED which displays obviously the debugging information, you know, the um, temperature readings. I've seen this on the Jetway boards as well. Pretty good for uh, Sapphire for adding that. At the back, you've got PS2 connectors, USB, optical. You've got Bluetooth, a Bluetooth module in there as well. Not just the eSATA, FireWire, and USBs, and USB 3.0, which are the blue ones there. You've got the Gigabit LAN and your HD audio. Okay, so complete at the back. Look at those awesome um, heat sinks, the way they're feathered out like that, okay, for the uh, airflow to go through. But one thing that I didn't really like too much, behind this one, behind this one, right there, there's a 8-pin power connector, and it's kind of sandwiched in between. So even though, you know, it's it's you can still get to it and plug it in, I don't like connectors being kind of tucked away in there like that, okay? So that's one of my beefs with motherboards in general. But awesome awesome looking board overall. I can't wait to uh, show you guys part two, which actually puts some benchmarks to the test. Like I mentioned, quality parts, good support for the latest technologies, Bluetooth, enthusiast controls, excellent heat sinks on the board. No SLI support though, but hey, 
definitely recommend this if you're looking for a board of this caliber. And I'd like to thank Sapphire for providing it, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.